Hey everyone, welcome back to the next part of this video learning series, working with shape keys in Blender. We're going to be actually creating some shapes in this one instead of just sitting and yammering and talking and showing like we did in the last one. And we did a fair amount of plugging our new Unity 3D asset, Salsa with Randomize, and you know, I kind of thought that might be poor form and we probably shouldn't be doing that, so we're not going to do that anymore in this, well at least in this video. But anyway, let's get down to making some shapes. We're going to work with some facial expressions in this video. We need to analyze what expressions we want to make and how we want to make them. Typically, it's best to go ahead and create small shapes. And by that, I mean isolated to a particular feature, like an eyebrow or an eye or a mouth. And then, if you recall from the previous video, shape keys are additive, so we can create several shapes and then combine them together into one expression. So if we take a look at these three faces, they're actually the same model duplicated. They have very different expressions on their face. They all have the same shape keys assigned to them. Various values are set to elicit the appropriate emotion. And while this model looks pretty cool, it is a fairly detailed model. And for the sake of saving some time, we're going to work with a slightly different model. Our tune box head basically has all the same shapes. The face is obviously very dumbed down, so we can isolate what we want to work on and demonstrate it rather easily. As you can see, this model has quite a few shape keys already assigned, so the first thing I'm going to do is delete all those. We can't cheat now, can we? And let's get down to business. So, the first thing we need to do is add a basis key, and we just click the plus and we get our basis. Remember the basis is the starting point from which all other shape keys are based when we are in relative mode. To work on our first shape we have to add another shape and that gives us key one and we'll go ahead and rename that to brow and we'll work on the inner portion of the brow and we'll do it up and this will be for the left brow. We're going to do the brows independent because independent brows give you a lot of variation in expression. Hit enter. And let's go ahead and tab into edit mode. I'm going to turn off these normals. And we're going to work in wireframe just because it's a little bit easier to see what we're doing. So this is the left brow of the model. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And what we want to do is uh, raise the inner up, as the, the name suggests. So w one way would be to just do a rotate. Here, let's turn off X mirror here. So there's our inner up. This really is kind of the outer down as well. Now with this particular model, we don't have a whole lot of options with that because we've just got kind of a, a brick there, right? So this is, this is going to have to work for now. And we can adjust these later if we need to. Let's tab out and let's go ahead and play that shape. And look at that. Wow. All right. Now, uh, as you saw, we were mirroring in that particular edit. And we don't want to do that because we want independent control. But we will work with the mirror on in the mouth because we, we do want to have that a little more uniform. So we'll go into that a little bit more in just a second. However, we would like to create the identical shape key on the model's right side. So a little trick for doing that, we're going to basically copy, and we have to do it while it's on. So when we copy a shape, it's we're not actually copying a shape, we're copying, copying the impression of the overall model, whatever it happens to be active. So we're going to do a new shape from Mix. And basically the mix is just what position the model happens to be in. Right now the only thing that's different between this model and basis is that our eyebrow is tilted up. So let's do a new shape from mix. Now we've got key two. And we're going to call this one brow inner up and right. Okay, let's turn that one off. Now we can see that if we turn this one on, it's still the same left eyebrow. That's great. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to use this special menu again, and we're going to say Mirror Shape Key. And we've just flipped that over to the right side. And we can turn both of these on, and we've got that sort of like surprised oops look right there. 
Now, let's do pretty much the same thing we just did, except we're going to tilt them down this time. So we're going to add a new key. We don't have a mix for this one, so we're going to say brow inner down. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and, and rename these things. So uh, we'll just call this brow up left just to make it a little more simple. And we'll call this brow right if I can type. And we'll call this brow down left. There we go. Okay, so again, we're going to be working with the left brow. We've got our shape selected. Tab into edit mode. Let's go back to wireframe. This is still selected. That's great. Now let's just do a rotate. We're going to rotate it down. Tab back out. And what's next? Yep, we're going to do a new key from mix. And then on this particular one, key four, we'll change the name. We're going to go ahead and mirror this shape. Okay, so this should be brow down right. I just turned that off. Look at that. We got brow down right, brow down left. Turn these off. Brow up right, brow up left. Okay, now. We know that we're additive in this respect. What happens if we actually operate these? Hey, <laughs> that's kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Working with two shape keys on the same vertice set, especially in a model that's simple like this one, uh, they are in direct opposition of each other, and they won't always produce uh, any sort of a desired result. Now. This might be a desired result to have it kind of turn into a smaller styled brow. You can get that kind of effect by turning them both on at the same time. But ordinarily, if it's the same shape or the same vertices that you're working on, you're probably going to have some sort of weird effect. Now, this can be a positive effect. Like I said, uh, sometimes it can combine and you can actually overdrive the shape down into a more exaggerated look. But more often than not, you probably want to use these things independently. Okay, so we've got brow up left, brow up right, brow down left, and brow down right. Now let's uh, let's make a smile. Let's add another key. Uh, let's deselect those vertices. Let's go ahead and select these, and let's turn mirroring on. And so what we'll get here, actually, I'm just going to select uh, these outside vertices here. And then as I rotate, you'll see that it affects the the vertices on the other side as well. Go ahead and grab about, yeah, about, let's select those as well. We'll go ahead and rotate those. I know, looks weird. Let's bring it back up here just a little bit. And let's uh, rotate these. Bring them in just a little bit. And rotate that one. And bring it in. <laughs> a little bit as well i'm not sure i would call that finished but you know for the sake of this video i think that looks pretty finished so let's go ahead and tab out and what do we get wow look a smile it's kind of a cute smile too here's where we can combine these shape keys so you know to give it kind of a happier look we'll we'll turn hello i'm just doing what i told you not to do there uh and we'll turn these turn these up slightly see if we can turn them different amounts look at that pretty neat Okay, uh, we've got we've got smile. Whoop, let's name this smile. Now uh, let's tab into edit mode. Actually, let's create another key. So earlier when I did when I created another key when we were in a position, the new key had that position. Well, that was because we did new shape for mix, right? So if we just add a new key, even if we're we're in some sort of position here, so you know, we've got some shape activity going on. If we add a new key, it's still going to be basically flat. I'm going to clear everything out, and it's still basis. There's nothing there. In order to get these shapes, like let's say we want this, uh, this smile, this kind of happy face action. If we want a shape that's happy face, uh, we've got to do new shape for mix. And now we can call this one happy face. 
and then this one's going to be our frown. So let's zero them out again. And if we go down to happy face, look, happy face is all on one key now. It's not a group. It's not a group of keys. It's not a controller for these keys. It's separate and independent. I can actually add more smile to it now because I've got smile here. So if, And like we said, they're additive and they're overdriven. So we're overdriving that smile by adding more smile to the happy face. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make this frown real quick. Tab in. Unfortunately, we can't Z mirror it. Let's see. All right, rotate this guy down, grab it, pull back just a little bit, rotate, grab it, pull it in, and then maybe a little bit more, pull it in. There's a pretty sad clown face right there. All right, we'll test that out. Yep, pretty sad. Now, what, what can we do here? We can make angry, angry or upset, right? So what we want is down for that. So we'll do that, we'll do that down. Kind of, there's, man, that is the, you didn't take the garbage out face right there. Let's create an angry face from that. New shape from mix. Zero everything out. There, angry face on one key. Pretty nice. Let's assume that angry face is what we want, except we want to tweak that a little bit. Well, we can still go back in here and edit these keys. So if we tab, now we can adjust this some more. For example, let's deselect that. Let's pull our eyebrow. Uh, let's grab that. Let's pull that in and rotate it just a little bit more. Rotate it. Now, let's scale these guys down because we've all seen this look, right? Yeah, those look painful. And then we'll bring them in just a little bit. Mean. Now that's a pissed off looking face right there, isn't it? Mad, mad. Focused and mad. All right. Okay, let's make one more full face emotion here just to kind of sum it all up, what we've done in this video. And we'll do this. This is going to be sad face. So let's start off with some of our previously generated shape keys. We'll do this sort of pensive, sort of, and then maybe just a little bit of frown. And that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad sack face. All right, let's do a new key from mix, or a new shape from mix. And now we'll call this sad face. Yay for sad face. Okay, let's clear them all out. Let's test that. Yep, that's pretty sad. But we want more. We want more sad. All right, tab in. Let's go back into wireframe. Seen this look? This is the sad puppy face. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna work on the X and Z axis. So Shift Y to restrain that, and then we're gonna scale these pupils up, scale them up, and then let's grab them, bring them in slightly. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's good. All right, let's clear. Actually, let's turn these guys just a little bit more, and uh, now. Looking at this, you might say, hey, wait, X mirrors on. Why is that not working on both sides? Well, because the the vertices on either side of the X axis, this is the this is the negative side over here, and this is the positive side over here of X. They're not in the same spots. So if we look at that particular one, we can see that we're looking at uh, negative 0.22999. And if we look at this one, it's not even close, right? So that's why that's why those aren't working. Now, if that isn't sad face, I don't know what sad face is. All right. Now, now we got sort of that's like Fu Manchu angry face right there is what that is. Anyway, you can have a lot of fun mixing these all around, especially if you create some basic elements first. And then you can produce a lot of different shapes from them. And don't forget, you don't have to create these full face expressions you can just combine them okay in our next video we're going to go over a few more advanced topics on uh, shape creation and we're also going to go through a few gotchas so see you soon thanks for watching